welcome to marine tech hub today i am going to explain about me engine with respect to troubleshooting of exhaust wall opening and closing stroke is low this is the actual alarm come on board the ship you can see that alarm is keep coming and engine is slowing down okay so i am going to explain all the points as much as possible to cover up so that you can uh, get the thing corrected okay so first of all first thing you need to see is the accumulator this particular picture you can see this is the hcu hydraulic control unit where we got the accumulators these accumulators pressure should be maintained around 100 120 bar just check your manual and it should not fall below 70 bar if this accumulator pressure is dropping that means you have a problem with the fuel injection and the exhaust valve opening so first thing you check this up okay if that problem is still persisting that means the diaphragm may be broken change the diaphragm with the new one uh, check the pressure regularly so that the initial problem of accumulator pressure is sorted out the second problem which can happen is the exhaust valve actuator this exhaust valve actuator also sometime may give problem so you just need to overhaul it and get the thing corrected so this is the second point the third point which i am going to tell you is the exhaust valve we got a orifice here if this orifice is choked then also it will not open see the opening of the exhaust valve is by hydraulic means whereas closing is taking place by spring air if the spring air pressure is high or low in that case the exhaust valve may open fast or slow okay so you have to keep the spring pressure the closing of the exhaust valve for opening you have the hydraulic pressure should be there and the orifice here should not be choked there are another two orifices in the exhaust valve you can also cross check that so this is the third point fourth point you have something called ceiling oil control unit so the ceiling oil control unit is very important so if you have it one then you need to check so when the engine is running you can see this pin will come out when the exhaust valve is opening and when the pin will go in for closing okay so check this is movement is correct or also you can open the pipe here when the engine is running drop drop of oil should come from this point i have explained regarding this in one of the videos okay so this is another point uh fourth point is you have to check whether the pilot wall which is mounted on the fifa are correct working good okay if the signal problem is there in this or the spool piece inside not working properly then you have to check this up also next slide if you see uh the uh, this is the graph taken when the engine had created problem so you have to go to uh, the troubleshooting then you have to go to hcu event and you can select whichever unit you want to check the graph you can see here ccu 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have selected ccu 1 here so ccu 1 selected once you select then you need to show sequence then you highlight this then you will get the graph so once you get the graph here we are seeing the graph for all you can see for taco exhaust valve position channel 34 we are especially we are seeing this graph if you see this is the one if you see this the graph is you can see how it is you can see it is not uh, correct okay so you can see the graph and uh, you can see even the plunger 31 you see how it is so you can see other fifa feedback all this you can see okay so in this way you can identify uh, the graph and come to a conclusion that is really where the problem is okay so next slide you can see here uh, you can see this uh, graph on the exhaust valve position and you can see the plunger position channel 31 is straight line it's showing so whenever engine is getting slow down the fuel injection will stop uh, this is one thing which is happening and exhaust valve you can see it's not also working properly so this, this is the graph we got next 
I want to explain to you what are the reasons. I am going to give you all the reasons as much as possible so that you can correct it. The first reason is I told you the accumulator which I have discussed before. Accumulator pressure if should be correct. Okay, if it is low then you need to uh, charge it, see the diaphragm broken. So if you change it, the new one. The second reason is you need to deaerate the orifice in the exhaust valve on the top block. If there is any uh, air in the system need to be taken out. Then we have a non-return valve in the exhaust valve, actuator, oil let inlet is damaged, then also it will have. If the supply of air, there is no supply air or there is a leakage, the spring air from leaking, then also we have a problem, exhaust valve will not close properly in time. Then every exhaust valve has got a sensor. Okay, if the sensor is not working, it's failed, then also the engine is going to slow down. We have something called FIFA for MEC engine, that is fuel injection wall actuation and ELVA is for MEB engine, so wall failure can happen. So here I am showing the figure here. So in this you can see this is the pilot wall. If the pilot wall not working properly, signal, then also you have problems. Then we have the main spool. If the main spool is not moving properly, that means when the main spool is moving up is for fuel injection. When it is moving down is for opening of the exhaust wall. If this movement is also not good, then also we have problem. Plus, you can have the feedback. The feedback sensor is here. So, illegal uh, plunger, this is plunger position, this is for the fuel booster or illegal FIFA position. Movement, this is this is position. Then if there is a failure of feedback signal, this is the feedback signal failure or if it is a frozen high end or input output detected or we have any other problem like pilot wall. This is a pilot wall problem, exhaust wall actuator if there is a problem then all this could cause the uh, engine to slow down. Okay, So you have to see the problem why the exhaust wall is not op opening correctly and closing correctly. So if that is the case then fuel injection will stop and engine requires for slowdown. Once it is ready everything is working alright. Now we can see the graph. If you see this graph, you see the exhaust wall, how it is opening and closing. So this is how this is. This is normally called a manual dump. Okay, and you can see the plunger also, the signal is all correct. So this way you can identify uh, the graph and check so that you can. So I would like to thank all my subscribers all over the world for making my channel to the highest level and uh, I am helping all the chief engineers and senior engineers with any troubleshooting from the ship with respect to ME, RT flags or any other machinery. Uh, my number is always scrolling up and my email address is there and uh, you can ma message me on my WhatsApp. My number is 701 three five four five nine okay guys have a nice day